Why do you like Dynamis? There are a few reasons for that. Because I could say, get that nigga Rex. Dynamis Rex. Two, because they're predominantly blue. Three, because I like that they are a pendulum based archetype that cares about no gimmicks, just attacking your face. But let's just be serious here. This shit's cheap as fuck. I play three Terran, three Ceratops, three Plesios because I feel that these are the best Dynamist in the archetype. Terran lets you search shit when you kill something. Plesios allows that to happen a lot more consistently. Math is hard, especially in the fucking mirror match, but it makes things easier to get over. Ceratops is restrictive to you only having Dynamist, but as long as you have another Dynamis besides Ceratops, you can summon multiple Ceratops. I do not play three Brachyon before somebody asks me because even though it does not rely on me only having Dynamist, it relies on my opponent having a face up monster. And that monster has to be the highest attack on the field. And if I just happen to have another Brachyon out, I can't special summon another Brachyon using its effect, but obviously you can summon it other ways. And it's only 2000 attack. At least Ceratops is 31. I play two Spinos and two Rex because both of them require tributing Dynamis monsters to do their shit. But you don't want to draw these things. I only play one Stegosaur, one Ankylos because I don't want to draw them. I do not like Stegosaur as a card because it does not work on itself, but there are times you need to get over something that you can't get over in battle. Being able to banish Pendulum monsters is great, but that shit ain't gonna be happening if you attack with him. He's only 1500. You can make things smaller with Plesios and make your Ankylos bigger with dynamic power load, but I don't wanna draw this bitch. The three scale effect protects your Dynamis from destruction of your opponent's card effects and by battle. The six scale effect negates targeted effects to your Dynamis cards, but it does not get past things that don't target and don't destroy. Ignition. That's why I play effect though. On to the spells. I really wanted to play three power load, but here is the problem. You have one power load that stays out. Then you draw another one. Then you draw another one. Be like, what the fuck? I play the terraforming as the virtual third copy. I'm not the most comfortable with this because there's that whole issue with drawing both power load making the terraforming useless, but it's okay, I guess. You obviously play three charge. Limited removal, not just because they're machines. It's because you can put a lot of damage on board and limited removal steals games. They should totally put it to three. Book of Moon need to go to more than one. It's really good in this deck. Rex gets to pierce. There has like no defense and it allows Terran to get over shit and search a card. Two space and not two twin twisters because the discard for twin twisters is very steep. If I was going to play twin twister, I would play one copy. You don't know what matchups you're going to be playing against, but generally speaking, MST is pretty good. There's always the quite common solemn strike or warning or bottomless. Onto the traps. Three down on Miss Rush. You should already know why. But in case you don't know, the motherfucker that's special summoned by Rush is unaffected. Fuck getting aids. Keep in mind that it does lose the boost of dynamic power load because it's unaffected by everything else. One warning because it negates normal summons and all the other shit it negates. Quakey Mirror Force because it puts shit face down. Rex can pierce, Spinos can attack twice. Let Terran get over shit. Torrential Tribute because it is usually no less than a break even. Since Dynamists are mainly about attacking, getting bigger while making your opponent's shit smaller, making it harder for them to kill you or your monsters, your opponent is going to more than likely have to dedicate a lot more cards, monsters to the board to get over your Dynamist. Even if they do rebuild their field, the point is, is that they had to rebuild and it was simply because of a card like Torrential that just says, no, we're just gonna wipe the board away and let you do it all over again. And this kind of goes hand in hand with spiritual water art. Of course, you gotta have it going first. You gotta have the monster, you know, shit like that. But if that happens, you look at your opponent's hand, shit like that. Oh, that's a good card, get rid of that shit. 
you're not going to have a monster on the field, usually. And if you just happen to have a fucking dynamis charge out and you trip with spiritual water, oh my god, she seems pretty good. On to the extra deck. If you play Dynamist enough, you should know that you don't go into your extra deck a whole bunch, but you obviously want to have an extra deck just in case some shit happens. Such as Nova Infinity, because you can make them, you have level five machines in your shit. When the fuck are we getting Crystal Zero Lance and Crystal Zero? Crystal Zero is actually pretty good. It drops an opponent's monster by half, which makes it easier for your shit to get through. It's about attacking and I like that shit. Artifact Durandal. It's effect negation or redirection or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And it also acts as disruption. Shark Fortress makes it easier to kill your opponent. Castell is Castell. Dark Rebellion makes some shit smaller and makes himself bigger. The Abyss Dweller, you should already know the business. Utopia, Utopia of the Lightning, you should know the business. One on one, just because you have room. Double Ragnar Zero, because this card. And number 37, Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark, because this card is good. With all the shit that I said here, I am not saying that you should go pick this shit up and play it in a tournament. I think that's fucking retarded. You can do what you want. I know that I'm at a disadvantage when I play down on Miss every motherfucking time, but I do enjoy the deck, so I play it. And that's what Yu-Gi-Oh! is all about. So with all that shit being said, thank you for watching. If you would like to help me pay rent, you don't even gotta spend your motherfucking money. All I ask is for literally seconds for you to click at least one advertisement Thank you in advance if you can do that for me. It's very much appreciated and you have my gratitude.